Hey, it's Tim. Pickup truck plus SUV talk. I just got the motel room in Austin. And I'm driving a new Jeep 4xE tomorrow. But hey, I got cool email, well, cool photos from an email from a spot photographer who took photos today of the current Toyota Tundra in a double cab versus the new Toyota Tundra for size comparison. I think the one he took was kind of a crew max, but I could be wrong. Lots of camouflage on these. Again, spy photographers, they got the shooty things. I buy the photos, I bring them to you. That's how this process works. So let's go ahead and look at these photos, and I'll tell you at the end of this video, the latest string of rumors and things I'm hearing and some dates for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on these. Now we know that there's been a lot of spy photos in the rear suspension. We'll get to those in a minute. I got some more up close photos. But here we have two trucks driving around, and we can see this is the camouflage one. This is the next generation one. It's camouflage because they're out testing it. it. Hasn't been unveiled yet. They don't want people to see it, you know, before it gets unveiled. We can see all the like the the stuff hiding the rear suspension, and but we know it's a coil link. I'll get show you some photos there in a minute. But we have the new shape of that front end. Um, that shape has the new headlights. They look like to be more teardrop than the photos I've been seeing. I don't know why um, they have the white done that way. Maybe that leads me to be that way. Maybe they're trying to be crafty and they're trying to disguise the new headlights. Um, as we go around, we can see both trucks driving and towing a load. Now this is just a total towing test by this engineer. All he's doing is just driving around town, towing and trying to get an idea probably on the transmission temperature and how the engine does and to probably do comparisons between old and new because they make changes to the front end, it changes the airflow. They gotta make sure all this stuff is calibrated right so you don't have any problems on the road. As we come around, we can see more of these photos and we can see at some point here, as I click, we, oh, there we go. We can see both trucks together and we can see them both side by sides. What's interesting is, I, you know, this is either a crew cab or it may be a new double cab. Maybe they're gonna, they're gonna finally square off the double cab in the back, get kind of rid of that kind of goofy rear end of that double cab and maybe allow them to get the full slide down rear window back there. The Crew Max is the only one that offers that and the double cab could offer it if it wasn't sloped in the back. And I, it makes more sense to me to have it kind of squared off. So you just have two versions of the truck. One's a little bit shorter in, in the rear. One's a little bit longer, you know, crew max versus double cab. And then we can see as we go around, we can see, you know, really not a whole lot. Lots of camouflage. And then from the back side here with the mats back there, we can see the load that they're towing. And we can see the rear lights. Let's say the rear lights may have a new shape as well. Maybe coming down a little bit. Maybe, like I said, more of like a teardrop kind of looking shape. And then this was, uh, these photos came out a little while ago. And I didn't see them. Um, until I didn't get a chance to buy them until today, really. These are the photos of one of a Crew Max. It looks like a Crew Max, or it could be a double cab driving around. And again, the bed looks really long in a couple of these photos, but I imagine that's just the way the photos are shot. But then we can get some upgraded, or uh, not upgraded, but we can look underneath the truck and see the coil suspension. You see that coil suspension, you see that bar going across. You know, you're looking at maybe a five link back there, or maybe a three link system. Um, you can see that bump stop in that coil. So definitely they have an improvement in ride quality. So we're going to have a rear axle back there. To, you know, this is going to be kind of based on what Ram has been doing for a long time. And it's really going to try to improve the ride quality of the Tundra, which has kind of been a sore spot for the truck for quite a while. But as we move around, we can see the, the suspension, see some more details of the brake lines and see the rear differential and see the rear axle housing as we can see that. So that's definitely a coil suspension back there. And this is definitely like a gas, I think that's a gas truck looking at the exhaust. And uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff with that Tundra. So again, uh, we can see the, the suspension, we can see the size, and maybe that is a double cab. Maybe they're just uh, making a double cab squared off. That could be a really interesting idea. All right, so there you go. So we know it's got the coil suspension. Um, we know that it's coming soon. Uh, my guess is sometime in June, we're gonna hear the details on the Tundra will be unveiled. Um, my, it's what I'm hearing kind of in the industry. Um, sounds like dealers are getting together. Whenever dealers get together, things happen. So it sounds like dealers are going to get together. Uh, media is kind of getting together. It sounds like we're going to do some unveiling stuff in June. I'm not quite sure when. And probably do some drives in the fall if you do kind of the math of how things work out. It takes a while to go through the factory, get first couple built, and get them shipped out to uh, the executives take them for a while first. Then the media gets them. Then dealer gets them. And so I'd imagine it'll probably be on sale by the end of this year. It'll be a new Tundra. I'm guessing it'll have the same trim levels it currently has. Just an upgraded interior, upgraded materials. Um, I'm still thinking it's got a V8 because I can't imagine Toyota is gonna to be the only competitor on the full size market without a V8 engine. That makes no sense to me. And I'm thinking it's gonna have a hybrid, probably a, a power, not power, not a Ford term, but uh, a, three, a turbocharged engine with a hybrid. I'm guessing what that's gonna be. I think part of the delay is, is COVID related delays with suppliers, but also I think Toyota was ready to unveil this a little while ago. 
And then they saw that power on board from Ford. I think they went back and they're going to work on their hybrid to get the power on board on there because, you know, Toyota doesn't update their trucks very often. They do small updates and that's a big update. And so why not hold the product, put that power on board on, have an onboard generator for their trucks and be more competitive for a longer period of time. That makes sense, a lot of sense to me. So I know this truck has been out. I know people have driven this truck. Again, we're still waiting for the official reveal, all the details. Uh, I'm guessing pricing will probably hold the line. Fuel economy is, should be pretty improved because right now it's one of the poorest trucks in the marketplace. So you're gonna have probably the hybrid powertrain will be your you know class leading or close to class leading as far as fuel economy. And then your V8 will just be your standard V8. So I imagine to offer both. They have a lot more capacity in San Antonio since they moved to Tacoma production down to Mexico. So I could see them filling production up and offering more Tundras and building more of them because, well, that's what the market's been demanding. So, hey, I make sure. So there you go. There are my thoughts. Check out this other video over here. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.